Alright, so, for the last four months, you guys know I've been absolutely gone from YouTube, Twitch, everything. And, um, there is a reason for that. I just want you guys to know that. And I'm about to explain all of that in this video. Now, for you guys to really understand what I'm talking about and just, just how much this means to me and everything, you guys gotta understand where I came from. So, really quickly, basically four years ago, 2017, I was absolutely dead broke. I was like, I think I remember a day where it was about negative 1,500 in my bank account in 2017. Um, I was working at 8 to 5 that I absolutely hated. Now, how the hell did you have negative 1.5 in your bank account if you had an 8 to 5 job? Well, you guys gotta understand, I finished high school at 18 and I had no other choice except to get a job, okay? My mom couldn't afford university, she had to work two jobs because my dad didn't have to pay child support once I turned 18. Didn't have to make the payments and I mean, my mom was behind on rent, on bills, everything. And I was forced to work at that point basically because I couldn't go to uni, it would just be a hellhole with all the bills that were due. And I just worked and worked and worked, and most of it was payday to payday. Because I couldn't buy anything else much, man. It was just payday to payday. And that ends up with your bank account going in overdraft, and you get negative balances. Just in case you guys are wondering. It was kind of that sad environment where there were just so many people working that job who just seemed really sad and depressed. And it made me depressed, man. It was kind of, it was, it was bad, okay? 2017, where I was working... Wasn't making me happy, okay? I was typing court cases and it was just a depressing environment. That's really all I can say about it. Now, long story short, every day after work, I decided to push myself and I decided to say, okay, from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m., I'm going to work and grind and stream and learn how to edit and record videos. And I was inspired by guys like Pretty Boy Fredo, LSK, Cash Nasty. Um, I actually used to watch Annoying back then, back in like 2K16. Uh, Nate XC. Just the 2K guys. I used to play 2K all the time after school. I used to come home and I used to use, I used to jam for hours after school. And I would always consider myself to be a very good 2K player. Just like, I don't know. I played that game so much. I love basketball and I was just like, wow. I'm pretty good at this game, man. My record was good. Everything was good. And I was just like, you know, why not? Why not try? Why not just sit there and just start recording videos? And I said, fuck it. Started making tutorials for 2K17, they blow up, okay? Some of them get some good viewership, and then I move on and on and on, and all of a sudden, from tutorials, I go to versing other YouTubers, I go to America, and I do that. That really puts me on the map. A lot of people find me from that. And then we move on to wages, and wages in 2K20, just... Oh! Wages in 2K20 push that game to a limit that it never should have reached. Just based on what 2K20 was in the game, the community pushed that game and the viewership and the content to new heights. That game had no business getting millions of viewers. I'm going to just say that. That game had no business getting millions of viewers, but thanks to the community, thanks to all the creators, that game did pull so many viewers. We were taking over Twitch, we were doing great on YouTube, and it was fantastic to see. So now, it was those wages in 2K20 when my life really started going fucking nuts. I'm going to just say that, okay? The money was flying in, going from a dude who just had nothing to, to nearly everything, pretty much. Um, I got my mom a new car. I got myself a new car. Um, I bought things I wanted to buy. And I was making a lot of money doing wages. Lockdown, no lie, it helped a lot because everyone was at home and my viewership just jumped from like 2,000 viewers a wager. Like it, it jumped to like 20, 30,000, 40,000 in some of the big wages. That was insane. Uh, shout out to Aiden and Bonnie. That, that whole show that we set up was really big for me and obviously it was for Aiden and everyone involved in that. Um, there was so much big stuff that happened in 2K20. It was just changing my life like that. I'm serious, it was just bang and my life was just crazy, okay? It was mad. Um, and then, and then, uh, 2K21 comes out. Let's be real now, who, who here actually is going to tell me and sit in, my, sit in front of my face and say 2K21 is a great game? Let's be real, the game is not good on next gen or current gen. It's possible. It's a game that you can play, but it's not a game that you love or that you really want to play and grind. It's just not that game. And it's sad. Because 2K20 was such a good game, but it was the creators that pushed it there, like I said. Now, this is where the thing, th th this is where my problem started, okay? This is where everything got really interesting for me. Because it was in this little transition period between 2K20 and 2K21. A few months ago, about four months ago, just when I stopped uploading, I got offered, I got offered 1.2 million US dollars, okay? I got offered 1.2 million US dollars by a rival company to Twitch to stream exclusively on their platform and to grind on their platform. <sighs> now, you guys see why I said at the start I was broke in 2017, okay? 
You guys gotta understand, for someone to go from broke to getting offered over a million US dollars in, in the span of three to four years, that is not something you can process easily, okay? That's something you have to think about, you have to sit down about, you have to be like, what the fuck am I seeing? What am I doing? And um, it wasn't easy, okay? I had, to, I had to sit down, I had to think, I had to be like, okay, 2K20, it was lit. I was on a path to like big things in gaming, okay? I'm not gonna lie. 2K20 was big. But 2K21 comes out, it dies down a bit. I get offered 1.2 million. Now what, like, what do I do? Do, do I just take that short-term 1.2 mil, grind on a platform that I'm obviously not going to be able, as lit as on Twitch? Like, Twitch is the littest streaming platform out, and there's no buying that. No one can deny that. I don't care what platform you stream for. Right now, Twitch is the littest streaming platform out. And um, you just, like, went, went, uh, to leave that for 1.2 million? I had to think about it. I'm not going to lie to you. It, was, it wasn't easy. It was a tough decision. And um, I had to think about my mom and my family, too, okay? Like... I, I, I'm with a single mom, okay? My dad left us a long time ago. He left my mom with a lot of debt. That's all cleared now, but it wasn't easy at times. And just the fact that I have four, four years later, I have a $1.2 million contract offer. <sighs> I really had to sit down and think about it. That's all I'm going to say, okay? So there's two things I can do here. I can take the short term 1.2 mil and risk losing a lot of my viewership, or I can play the long game with Twitch and stay on Twitch. Now, this is the way I see it, okay? You think of a guy like Aiden Ross. Imagine him. You guys know that he's my boy, by the way. He's an amazing person behind the scenes, just so you guys know. I know Aiden's like in LA now doing all that crazy stuff, but from what I know from my DMs with him, he's always been really humble and really cool to me. Um, shout out to him. Think of a guy like Aiden, okay? If he stayed on 2K, number one, let's be real now, he'd only be, he'd only be making like 10K viewers, okay? If he stayed on 2K... That game has a ceiling that is impossible to break. I don't care how funny, entertaining, or talented you are. 2K has a ceiling. It's like COD used to have. COD used to have a ceiling before Warzone came out. And that ceiling got broken, okay? But right now, 2K has a ceiling, and nobody is breaking that ceiling because there is a limit to how many viewers you can get on 2K. 2K20, we pushed that ceiling to the absolute fucking limit. But it's back again because 2K21 is pretty ass. Now, think of a guy like Aiden. If he stopped and took 1.2 million dollars, like 2K was dying now, he took 1.2 mil, he never would have had the blob that he had because he would have left Twitch and he would have went somewhere else, taken 1.2 mil, yeah. But Aiden right now is making millions and millions and millions. He's making way more than that. I'm going to just be real with you, okay? I know Twitch money, now, YouTube money, he is making way more than a million dollars a year. Let's be real now. And he would have missed out on every single bit of that if he had taken a sellout offer like that. That's the way I see it, okay? Now, that's just what I mean, okay? He would have had the money, but he never would have blown up like he did. And that comes into the whole thing. Do you take the short-term 1.2 mil, or do you go long-term with Twitch and play this game out? I'm only 24, okay? You guys got to remember that. I'm young. I've got so many years ahead of me with this. And um, that's what I was thinking about, okay? You guys think about music careers, like rappers and stuff. A lot of them sign these big-ass advances on these contracts. They'll get, what, 800K, a million, 1.2 mil, 1.5 mil. They will sign these big advances on these contracts because as soon as they start blowing up, bang, a label's in your air and they're like, yo, we'll offer you 1.5 mil if you sign with us for the next three years and you do this and you make this many albums, all that bullshit. And a lot of artists get fucked over by these labels like that, okay? And it's kind of becoming a thing in gaming. There's a lot of shady gaming deals out there now too. And it's just becoming crazy. Now I'm not saying at all that my deal was shady. It was actually a very fair, open, good offer. I'm here to announce to you guys that after thinking about everything, after sitting down and after four months of just being like, what the fuck do I do? By the way, I also had a good break during this four months. I don't want you guys to think that I was just out here stressing the whole time. Okay, I did have a good break overall. Uh, it was good for me as a, as a content creator. You guys know burnout and all that. But after these four months, I have decided that I am going to stay on Twitch. Okay, I've talked to Twitch and they are really keen to keep me on. They want to offer me a custom sort of contract that I can't really talk about. But it is, it's good. Okay, it's good. So, yo boy! It's going to be back and staying on Twitch. I'm starting again early May. So this month, I'm starting again sometime early May. I haven't decided exactly my start date yet. I kind of want to set something big up for the first few days. Um, the blockbuster wages are going to return, okay? I'm on 2K for now, but just hear this, okay? Oh, oh, uh, shit, the lights just went off. Yo, hold on, guys. I need, to, I need to, like, walk around to turn the lights back on. I'll be right back. We back, we back. So, uh, what was I saying? 
Um, yeah, so long story short, your boy is returning to Twitch this month. I'm really fucking excited. It's going to be amazing. Uh, we're starting on 2K, but let this be known, okay? If 2K22 is a bad game, if 2K22 just isn't cutting it for me, I'm like, I'm getting sick of this. I am not going to keep spending my years trying to push 2K to this crazy ceiling that it shouldn't even be at, okay? I'm not going to keep trying, and I'm just going to start doing vlogs, pranks, whatever. I really just want to expand at this point because I'm just getting sick of this whole thing where it's like... If 2K is a bad game, I'm limited. And it just gives me headaches and it, man. It's just going to be like, what the hell am I doing, man? But for now, at least you guys know that the blockbuster wages are going to return. We're going to do crazy stuff. I know there's a lot of guys who want to wager me. Fun fact, Aiden actually wanted to do a rematch with Bronny. Uh, obviously, he's like doing this whole rapper interview thing now, which is blowing up. But I'm sure he'll still be down, whether it's later on down the line or whenever. But uh, other than that, we are going to set up a big blockbuster wager for the comeback. Follow me on Twitter, at the real Ticino, and I will let you guys know what that blockbuster wager is going to be, okay? Early May, we're going to set something up, okay? It's going to be big. Now, just from me to you guys, I love y'all. I'm glad that I can be back on Twitch. I made my decision. I don't want to sell out in the short term, take the money and go. I'd rather just sit here with you guys, grind it out long term, and you know what? Money aside, the amount of fun I have doing this, the amount of enjoyment I get just talking to you guys, hanging out with you guys, making YouTube videos, making this my career, in a way that is more valuable than money ever will be in a sense, okay? So just the fact that I can do this for a career, I'm never going to take that for granted. And yeah, that's really all I want to say. So thank you guys. I love y'all. It's your boy Tarsino. And we are back in early May. Peace. Live, love, and laugh, y'all. Take care of yourselves.